Hello guys and girls and welcome back, it's your boy Big John and today what I'm going to be doing is showing you the NEO indicator in the strategy testing mode. So we have recently had the update of the break of structures appearing on the chart. I'm going to show you a video of how it actually displays and I'm also going to be explaining how the bot will be able to take a trade for you once this does appear. So these are the trades I did give out in the VIP service signal room on Telegram and these are trades I gave out manually but once you you do have the system once it's completed that's the neo indicator slash ea you will be able to trade these setups yourself even without my help so let's get straight into it guys and girls so first let's just pay attention to what we see here on nzd cad and we can see that the age is 55 days ago so this is the trend it's been bearish for 55 days and we're looking for a take profit of 70 pips which is adr1 it's displayed here for us and that helps us because it's an older trade we're not going to be looking for 141 pips this trade has already given off some Type of trade setup so we do not want to be looking for adr2 because it's more than likely it can pull back and it will only probably do about 70 pips or near enough that now we can also pay attention to here that stop hunt one this is what we're really looking for as i have explained in my previous videos once price action is in a supply or demand zone or gone past it and has grabbed the liquidity the next thing we're waiting for if it hasn't already happened is stop hunt one it needs to be blue zero or in the color we're looking for the trade and it will be one now when it comes to stop hunt two this might change colors but that's not too bad it just gives us the ebbs and flows of the market and our main focus is always going to be on stop hunt one which is showing us for our volatility in the market and when it's getting weaker So you can see the break of structure and change of character system at the moment. This will change to a bearish and bullish color as time goes on. Like I said, it's still being coded. But again, I just want to show you that it actually is there. We're just going to continue. And now you can see with real time price action that this has changed to a blue color. This is exactly what we're looking for once the other confluences have been achieved or it can happen before, but we would need the other confluences to have been achieved and then we'll be able to take our trade set up. This was the second to last thing we was waiting for. And now we're just waiting for a 15 minute bearish break of structure or change of character to be able to enter this trade. You can see real time price action is getting weaker and this has actually changed to a zero which has given us an extra bit of confluence that price action is getting weaker and our trade setup should be happening. Now, right over here, we had our first break of structure. Again, as promised, live chart data, but this happened when the market closed. So it's the gap period between the one hour. This usually happens at 10 p.m. London time and happens around 5 p.m. New York time. So right now it's going into the Asian session crossover. And of course we want the market to start moving again. So we're looking to get in on the next break of structure because the spread at this point on your broker is probably extremely wide and you do not want to get into a trade here. That's kind of common beginner Forex knowledge once you've been trying trading for long enough you do not get in straight away as soon as the market's just opened or if the market's about to close and there we go so we can see our entry has happened here so let me just move this down so what would have happened for us right now is that if you are trading with the EA, the EA would have taken the trade for you here automatically. So we have to wait for all of our confluences manually to happen. That is the trend needs to be in our direction. We need to make sure price has gone to our supply area or broken it. And we have to make sure the liquidity has been grabbed. I've made an explanation of this on all of my previous videos. So you can watch the Neo playlist from the beginning of this year and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And now we're just waiting for our 15 minute entry, which has happened. And all you would have had to do whilst price action was waiting for this to actually happen is switch on your auto trading bot. So before this happened, you would have switched on this and you would have had all of your risk management settings put into play for the bot and it would have taken a trade entry for you here. And of course you can set it on the bot to have a stop loss, which I recommend above the last high, which would have been this point here. Or you can also set it maybe 10 pips further, etc., just to give it a little bit of breathing room. And we are looking for 71 pips in this pair to give us a possible TP1. The cat 
So the strategy tester has actually finished and this was Friday close of market. So let's just measure out what happened here. So the most we actually got in this trade entry was about 40 pips. We was looking for 71. So we got about 50% of our take profit. Sometimes this is going to happen. You know, it just depends on what the market wants to do. But we never actually saw a TP1 hit. But that's fine for us because we were actually profitable. And this was actually a trade entry that was profitable from its first entry. And that doesn't mean that it might not drop another 40 pips when the market opens. It all depends. But that would have been up to the trader whether they wanted to close the trade because it was the weekend or however they wanted to manage the trade but what did actually happen for us which was perfect is that we would have got at least 40 pips in this trade which is great okay so now we're actually in euro cad and this is what we're looking for in this trade setup so we have achieved all the confluences in this we can already see the trend is 25 days old so it's a bit of a newer trade but still has already done the move we're looking for so right now in this pair we would have only been looking for a tp1 which is about 80 nine pips from entry from our 15 minute entry and all the other confluences like i've said have been achieved so we're going to be looking to enter the market as soon as the 15 minute break of structure does actually occur Now here we can see our first 15 minute break of structure and also over here what this big red box is is actually the age slash trend which will basically just be showing us that it is bearish from a higher time frame. You will be able to see that if you zoom out and it just gives you an extra indication that price action is bearish or bullish and right now again we would be entering right here. So if you have the bot the bot would have taken this trade for you. So when price action was in this area as soon as I basically went over to this pair I could have easily had auto trading on and the bot would have taken a trade for me as soon as this did appear our stop loss again would be above the last high and we would be looking for at least 90 pips from here which would be around about this region down here but let's see what actually happens with price action So this is a perfect example when a trade doesn't actually work. I do not want anybody to be purchasing this indicator and being on the waiting list for completion, thinking that this product is going to win you every single trade. It does not happen like that. Trading does not work like that. It's not black and white. You're going to have losing trades. And this is why risk management is very important and having the right amount of capital to trade probabilities. I go through all of this type of stuff in my Zoom calls on Sundays, which any VIP member is going to be privy to that information. I teach this all the time time i've done loads of videos on youtube about it as well so you can go through my risk management youtube videos as well for free Now, what I might as well add is during this time, you would be able to switch back on the bot because all of our confluences have come into play, as I've said before, and it's even given us a re-entry for a possible stop hunt one because it's changed this color. And we would expect this to happen or we would expect it to extend the numbers going further and further. But this one has given us a nice blue color again, telling us, hey, get ready for another entry in this pair. The first one was a fake out. This one might be the right one. Get ready, guys and girls. We can already see stop hunt two is going bearish which is great for us you know telling us hey this one's getting into confluence so if this one here stop hunt one gets into confluence that is even a better sign of a trade entry so we're just waiting for our 15 minute break of structure and again you would have been able to switch on auto trade in here waiting for this to happen And right over here, guys and girls. So the bot would have automatically taken this trade for you before this actually went all the way down here. You saw this started to turn red and was zero. And then it was even one. That was giving you such a super confluence that this trade could possibly sell. We even have stop hunt two in our favor as well, which has given us a double confluence. That price action starting to get weaker in volume and starting to turn bearish. Again, the bot would have taken the trade right from here and you would have been able to set your stop loss above this high or further. We're looking for 95 pips in this trade from this entry here. So 95 pips is around about this region here so we're looking for price to go towards this low here for us to get a successful trade
and right over there so we can see tp1 has been smashed our entry was here it's only because the block in the background is actually red so we can't see the break of structure no more but it is there and we would be able to see that price action has hit our tp1 so the adr of course is changing because every single day it's going to change maybe five pips more five pips less it all depends on of course what price action does within that day because it is the average daily range if you're not aware of what the average daily range is again in my vip service i go over this all the time and i do actually have a youtube YouTube video I did I believe it was in like 2021 where I explained the average daily range I've even done some videos this year showing you how I trade the average daily range as well so guys and girls we're now on GBP CAD and I'm just running this for you so you can actually see what's happening here and right now we're waiting for price action to go above this area here to give us a liquidity grab every other confluence is in play at the moment but until it goes past here and then gives us our break of structure after we're not going to be looking for a trade entry in this pair regardless of what break of structures do actually happen here so i'm just going to put a line here so we can see when we're waiting for our liquidity grab and let's just zoom back in and go forward So we can see price action has broke through our liquidity grab area. And like I've said, all the other confluences have come into play on this pair. The trend is bearish. We've also gone into our supply zone or broken it. Of course, we can see the liquidity grab has happened. Stop hunt one is a continuous bearish momentum at the moment, which is telling us that, hey, you can still be looking for a trade setup. It didn't have to turn blue or it didn't have to change back to zero. Sometimes it will do that. It all depends on how fast they move the market, so the volatility. But right now it's kind of a bit of a creeping trend. So it hasn't changed at the moment. It can, but doesn't need to as long as it stays there or changes it's perfect for us so we're just waiting for our 15 minute entry from here so this is when you would be switching on auto trading on the bot and instead of waiting two to three hours for the trade entry to appear the bot will do that for you and then enter the trade with your risk management parameters And right over here, guys and girls. So the bot would have taken the trade for you here once you switched on auto trading from before. The bot would have taken the trade with a stop loss above this level here or higher or whatever you set it to. There's so many different risk parameters you'll be able to set it to. And of course, we're looking for 140 pips for a take profit level. So let's just see where that is. So 140 pips from here is around about this region here. So we're waiting for price action to go around about here. This is what we're looking for. As we can see, that's 140 pips. Let's see what happens. And there you go, guys and girls. So it's even gone all the way down here right now. And let's see how far that was. So from our entry to there, there you go. That's about your 140 pips. As I've told you before, the ADR will change from time to time because it's of course reading data as the days go on. So when you're in these trades for one to two to three days, of course it's going to change by five, 10 pips. It all depends on what price action does, but TP1 was achieved and the bot would have been able to do that for you automatically. Again, these were trades I gave out in the VIP service on Telegram or in the Zoom calls and every single person was privy to this information once they were in these groups. This is why I trade this strategy it makes sense it's consistent and you have seen this from the beginning of the year to now i've been trading this for up to four years now and this is why i trade this way because i found out that it gets me what i need to get from the market and of course not every entry is going to be perfect like you saw in eurocad but as long as you manage your risk you will be consistently profitable because this works it is an edge in the market and that is why i'm selling this product like this so another thing to pay attention to here notice how this has changed to zero so stop hunt one is actually telling us hey get ready a major pullback might happen in the market so at this period of time you would have said to yourself right now i'm going to put my stop loss at break even or i'm going to take partial profits or if that's not going to happen i'm going to close this whole trade because it's done what i need it to do the indicator is telling you 
hey, this is when you need to be looking to get out of this trade because something major is about to possibly happen and get you out of your trade. I'm not saying it can't continue to sell back down. We have seen price action do that when we were looking for a previous trade entry, but at least it's giving you some type of caution. And these are the little things that we need in the market to help us become better and more consistently profitable traders. So guys and girls, I've pretty much gone over the best I can do in this video. Of course, I'm gonna keep giving you updates. It's 80% complete at the moment, Neo. And if you do want to get into this, it's 100 great British pounds for lifetime access with the vip service whilst we wait it is not completed yet so this is why you're also getting into the vip so all of these neo trades i'm explaining in the videos that i've shown you they're all going to also be in the telegram group as manual trades you will be able to take as signals and when it's completed you will have the system on mt4 for you to be able to trade this yourself manually or of course when all the confluences come into play with the expert advisor if you want to get through to me you can message me on discord or telegram all of the information is in the description below and so is payment links. If you want to pay for this product, you can do there and message me. If you have any problems with the conversion rates, message me first before you make payment. And I'm pretty much available most of the time. So I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Guys and girls, it's your boy, Big John, and I'm out. Peace. Starting from the bottom like Drake. Got that young Mula, but I learned my mistakes. Hiding up the ladder, gotta watch out for the snakes. If you wanna be the boss, then you have to delegate.